workshop organized by our institutions innovation council as we have attended so many interesting and knowledge based session till the day let's add one more today in our knowledge bucket so the topic for today is design thinking critical thinking and innovation design let me ask you do you think yes of course we all think right and thinking is typically based on situation so how to make it uh, creative or innovative is most important process and therefore we have ms poonam rajul jain as our guest speaker and it's a great pleasure for me to introduce her today as she has done so many fabulous things uh poonam ma'am is a founder of adya consult and a learning and de development professional ma'am has 18 plus years of experience in banking sales training content and learning strategy oh 18 plus uh, it's a huge right uh, she has done her schooling from lucknow in 1996 and masters of management science from indore in 2003 if i talk about her certifications there is a huge list like a licensed from insurance institute of india certified psychometric test professional certified des design thinking practitioner and so on along with certificates there are so many areas where ma'am has gave excellent inputs areas such as personal effectiveness life cycle based learning track leadership development competency framework learning content curation and many more and now about her workings she has worked as deputy manager in city bank kotak life insurance then she ha she was sales manager at aviva life insurance and training manager in bharti exa life and from 2016 onwards she is working as founder of adya consult um so without taking any more time ma'am I welcome you in Bedekar's online auditorium and request you to take over and shower your great knowledge with on us. Thank you so much, Rudraja, for such kind and lovely words. They were almost music to my ears, honestly. Uh, but uh, and I'm I'm really grateful for this opportunity to be a part of these young, ignited minds. And I really hope that I can add some value today. through our mutual discussion and conversations so without any further delay let's start with the program and i will tell you a little more about myself and what we are going to do as we progress i hope that's okay so much okay. so great so i hope my screen is visible folks sorry the whole uh, yes. screen is yes, saying thank yes. you so instead of that i will go to the first slide my bad okay so today guys we are going to talk about design thinking and critical thinking for innovative all very big words uh, i'm sure though in the course of your course and otherwise in your day to day life uh, they have become a uh, everyday jargon especially in the corporate world so it is very important as students of management we become adept and understand what they really mean and how they will help us becoming a better professional in every way possible right but before we dive deep let me tell you about myself a little bit though rudraja has almost covered everything but on a personal front um i'm a mother a friend a daughter and professionally uh, a sales professional a trainer and an entrepreneur so in short that's been my journey from uh, uh you know b category town of lucknow to mumbai to uh, climbing the ladders in the corporate world and then finally discovering myself while doing what i'm doing currently If you want to know a little more about myself, me, uh, you can scan this QR code. This will lead you to my LinkedIn profile, and you may be able to have a good look as to what I have done in the past and what I am up to today. And also, it's a good way to keep in touch. So, hope to see you all there. Now, moving forward, I would also like to want to know you guys a little more. And for that. uh there is a link that krunal will share in the chat box so may i request krunal please could you share the link in the chat box krunal and i will show you exactly what 
have the first link now that I've sent the email. Oh, sorry, ma'am, you were you're talking on mute. Sorry, sorry, guys, I'm saying uh, this is a quick activity which I want you all to do. It's for me to be able to know you a little more. Uh, if you click on the link that has been shared, Krona, have you shared the link? Uh, just a minute, ma'am. I think it is in the image form, so uh, I'm just typing uh, the, in the image link. I have typed the link and sent. Yeah, uh, like I tried to copy it, but it is uh, showing in the image format, so I'm just typing it, ma'am. Yeah, just give me one minute. OK. Guys, you can see it. Uh, on the screen as well. Can you see it in the address link? I wish I could directly share from here somehow. All right, so you know the idea is that what you will do as soon as you get the link and you click on it, you will come to a screen like this as it is visible on my screen. OK, and there is a plus sign, a red plus sign on the right hand top corner of the page. So what you what I request you to do is go on that plus sign and type the area you are in. So for example, I am in Pawai. So I will write Pawai, select the area and then write my name and what go and one key strength that I'm very proud of. So let's say I am very proud of design thinking. And I will type that and publish. Yes, I've just shared the link. OK, if you don't un get it, how to do it, please feel free to unmute and share. I would like to know all of you better. And since uh, it's a whole class full, I, this is the quickest and the fastest way. You have one minute to do it. I'm repeating what to do. Click on the plus sign on the top right hand corner. Write the name of the area you are in, the area you are in. So let's say Andheri, I will write Andheri. And then I will type my name. And one thing that I am proud of. So let's say training. Is this clear? Is it her working? So please you can feel free and call. Let me know. Yes, please check the second link which I have shared. And there uh, these things are working. Click on the link that has been shared in the chat box. Kral, could you uh, click and see if it's working? Yes, ma'am, it's working. Yes, ma'am, it's wonderful. Working. Wonderful. I can see the number of people rising on my screen as well. So type the area that you are in. Then you are supposed to click enter and then it will give you an option to write uh, your name and one thing that you're very proud of and click publish. I can see people trying, but I can't see anybody published so far. So yes, one name has come up, which is Kronal has entered. Great Kronal, you've not written what you're proud of though. So that's OK. OK, I have somebody from Dombivali, Nikita. Open to learn new things. Great, Nikita. Thank you so much. Rohin Joshi, proud to be in equity valuation. Lovely. She is from Mulund. 
See, this is the way we meet our classmates and colleagues today. Shweta Shrikant Singh. Shweta is a good listener. Wow. Uh, Vrindavan Society. We have somebody who is a who is proud to be a trader. Varnita is from Kalyan. Okay. Okay. Who else? We have a lot of people. Uh, Nazreen Sheikh. She is leading a team already. Lovely, which means there are a lot of you who are already working professionals. And it is amazing to uh, learn from each other when you're already working in a very big way. They bring their experience and the new perspectives along with it. We have Teja Shri from Badlapur. Really nice. Proud to play carom with fine arts. Great. And we have a lot of people who are based out of Thane. Prabhakar Sharat, positive mindset. Okay, I'm still waiting. Rabale Navi Mumbai, proud to be a quick thinker. Prajakta Borke from training. He is in Junagar, Navi Mumbai. Jui Nagar, sorry, my bad. Okay, any more? Pratik, Pratik is into is into investing. Wonderful, wonderful. Great. See, we, see, we we are getting to know that there are so many different skill sets that are available amongst our classmates themselves, and they are very proud of it as well. So, ye ye kuch aisi cheeze hoti hai jisse hume pata chalta hai ki uh, when we get to know that somebody is proud of something, it also reflects a lot on their personality. Everybody mostly is writing about what they are doing professionally. There are very few people who are writing about things that they are proud of in a personal space. So you can write about like Nikita, I think, has written that she's a good listener. Uh, she's open to learn new things. Great quality. Somebody has written that they are a good listener. OK, Bhavesh is learning stock trading. He's in Vivandi. Caring and suggestions. Wonderful. So we have people from all over. Chaitanya is into digital marketing and from Khargar. Lovely Chaitanya. You must be doing a lot of work right now, especially when we are operating the virtual space. Prajakta is in uh, training. Proud of the way I'm living my life. Jui Nagar. Okay, I don't know the name. Great. There are still a lot of people who are still writing. We'll just wait for another minute or so, and then we will move on to the next uh, activity. So still have, I got to know a lot of people from here today. Love to explore new things. You must, should have written your name as well. I would know at least who loves to explore. Shubham. Shubham has a solution based approach. He's from Badlapur. Very interesting, Shubham. Shubham, we are going to talk about solution based approach today in the program. Snehal is from Kalyan and she's self motivated and a good listener. I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma great, great, great. So, uh, since all of you are first year students, I am very, very sure that uh, you might not have really gotten an opportunity to know these things about your own classmates. Unlike normal times when we meet each other and chit chat and canteen and whatnot. So this is a great opportunity to know your own classmates and know better, most know something about them and also to think if there are people you would like to know better and you can directly connect with them separately. Krishna loves the way he thinks. We have a lot of people from Thane. Wonderful. All right, so we have 
most of the class, I would say, if or not all, and we got a glimpse of what everybody thinks and where they are placed in the city. So they're all over the city, and this is giving us a good glimpse with a lot of concentration in Thane, Dombivali, and Kalyan. Right? So thank you so much, guys. Now let's understand, you must have heard that this is the session that we are doing today on design thinking and critical thinking. Uh, I want to know what is it that you were thinking uh, that what you are expecting from this program today. So quickly, uh, if Krunal, could you share the link for the expectations, the next Mentimeter link? Hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. I'm sharing the second link now. Yeah. So this is the link. Uh, this menti.com, right? Yeah. It's menti.com. Uh, do you want me to email it to you again? Uh, yes, I've shared this, uh, but uh, the third link we are getting a bit confused, like that uh, jamboard.google.com. Okay, so what could... I will do is I will separately email it to you. I'll paste the link in the subject line itself. Yeah. Now guys, uh, I know all of you are attending this program from your homes uh, and other locations. But whoever is comfortable, I would really, really appreciate if you could switch on your camera. You know, it's nicer to talk to people and smiling faces than to just names. So whoever, I, I don't want to force it, but anyone who is comfortable, may I please request you to uh, switch on your camera. And while you do that, let me, let me quickly share with you what we are going to talk about your uh, expectations. So I want to know what is it that you are expecting from the program today? So I want you, once you go on the link, yes, great. I don't want your name. I just want you to share what is it that you are expecting from the program today? Suraj Varma has written his name. Suraj, up. Uh, if you click on the link again, you will be able to write, uh, enter the, what are you expecting from the program? When you heard design thinking and critical thinking and innovative design, what came to your mind and what are you expecting from the program today? Everybody. Any one expectation, what do you think we will cover today or we will talk about today? OK, steps of thinking, OK, which talk about how we think essentially. All right, what else? Uh, Nikita Birje, I don't want you to share your name. I only want you to share what are you expecting from the program today? Innovative thinking, how to be in self-control, new way to look at problems. OK, wonderful. We will definitely be talking about that. We will also be talking about out of the box thinking. Uh, applying design thinking. How do we apply design thinking? Great. We will also be talking about that. What else? OK, marketing, making strategic decisions. Strategy, so uh, we'll come to that as well. We will talk about that quick logical thinking. OK. Creative thinking approach. How do we cre do creative thinking? We will definitely talk about that. Most definitely we will talk about turning an idea into a design. Very interesting. Very, very interesting thought. How do we convert an idea into design? Very interesting thought. Optimum usage of de decisions. OK, some whoever has written this will need to explain this to me later. What do they mean exactly by optimum usage of decisions? Uh, applying design thinking, out of the box thinking. OK, what else? Quickly, we just have 18 responses. We are far more in the class. I would 
uh, request everyone to participate wholeheartedly. See, we will learn and we will enjoy the session even more if we participate in all these activities coming your way. Critical thinking, ways to optimum usage, create, uh, how to deal with critical situations, digital thinking. Digital thinking and design thinking are two different things and we will understand why they are different also. Thinking on your feet with different angles. All right, that's interesting. Uh, think in a creative manner, ways to implement ideas. So, you know, uh, design thinking and uh, critical thinking are normally used interchangeably. And today we are going to understand how they are different. Are they different at all or are they the same thing? Are they the part of each other? Is design thinking a part of critical thinking or is critical thinking a part of design thinking? So we will explore all of that as well. With different angles, how to face problems, ways to implement ideas, thinking on your feet, great. I think that is giving me a quite a fair bit of idea of what you are expecting and we have 27 responses, just 30 seconds more and then we will start what we are going to discuss for the day. OK. OK, so I think we've got most of our responses and that brings us to now that we know what you're expecting from the program. Let me quickly share with you what we really will be doing in the course of the program, right? So. The objective of today's program is to discover the concept of design thinking and how it works. What is the role of critical thinking in design thinking and how design thinking leads to innovative design? Fair enough. Now is the time when I want you to unmute yourself and share with me what do you understand by design thinking? Anybody, whatever you think is the right answer. What do you think is meant by design thinking? Anybody? Unique. Unique what? My dear friends, Unique can I request ideas. you to please share your name? Sorry, who is this speaking so that I can locate you since I can't Nikita. see you? Nikita. Nikita, Nikita please batay. Uh, kya hota hai? Ideas. And you know, language is not a constraint, friends. Hindi, Angrezi, do bhasha achche se samaj mein aati hai. Thodi baat Marathi bhi samaj mein aati hai, lekin puri nahi aati hai. To aapko jo bhi bhasha mein aap comfortable ho, aaram se bindas bolye. Yes, Nikita, please carry on. Unique. Unique ideas or creative. Mm, OK. Can you elaborate a little bit? Example se batana chahengi. OK, let's stick to unique ideas from Nikita. Anybody else would like to try? Design thinking ka matlab kya hota hai? Make more appealing for the customers. Some products. Sorry, making more. More appealing, appealing. appealing. Or it will appealing be attractive. Products. So design, I mean, uh, they should look very attractive, so they are more appealing. Is that what you mean? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, unique design and uh, uh, you know uh, more appealing looking products. Anybody else has any idea of design thinking? Sorry. Calculating in strategic way to deal with the thing. OK, calculating. Is this Nazreen speaking? Yes, ma'am, Nazreen. Nazreen, you're saying calculating in strategic way is design thinking. Um, OK. Uh, thinking. OK. Bolye. Thinking out of the box. Thinking out of the box. What do you mean by thinking out of the box? Matlab kisi problem ka koi naya solution nikalna. 
या इन सम यूनिक वेज कोई अलग तरीके का या आई थिंक अ वेरी क्लोज निकेत यस आई मतलब मोहम्मद सूरज जस्ट रिपीट नहीं करने का प्लीज प्लीज टेल मी योर नेम फ्रेंड्स अदरवाइज इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू फिगर आउट हु इज टॉकिंग हम मोहम्मद सूरज हां जी बताइए हम स्टेप बाय स्टेप थिंकिंग को कैसे अप्लाई किया जाएगा एक डिजाइन पहले जो डेवलप होता है किसी भी काम को करने के लिए तो थिंकिंग का भी एक मतलब स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसेस होना चाहिए एक प्रॉपर वे जो किसी भी डिसीजन को मतलब अच्छे से वर्क करेगा उस उस वेरी ब्रिलियंटली पुट सूरज आई वुड से वेरी 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 वेल पुट हाउ शुड यू थिंक थिंकिंग के प्रोसेस को क्या हम डिजाइन थिंकिंग कह सकते हैं एक्सट्रीमली इंसाइटफुल आई वुड से वेरी वेरी वेल पुट कैन वी put a process on how you should think or approach a problem great anybody else ma'am almost ma'am yeah who is this please tell me your name first nazreen ma'am sorry nazreen yes nazreen tell me ma'am by thinking that the customer what the customer wants think keeping that in the mind and go, going towards the approach like how do we approach it by taking them in the mind they are thinking or they are process so keeping the customer at the center of it another brilliant observation can we think by keeping the customer at the center of things great one more response and then we'll move ahead one last uh, thing ma'am sohan here yes sohan tell me uh, ma'am it is a uh... process for creating new technology and products it's a process for creating new technology and products so um, creation ka to process nahi hai uh, but uh, uh, kaise create kara jaye uska process zarur ho sakta hai so hold your thoughts there and uh, may i request everyone to participate see the whole uh, idea of this virtual session is so that you all can participate otherwise uh, otherwise wo ek monologue ho jayega to usse to acha hai ki main ek youtube bheji video bhej deti hu and you can learn from that participation is what's going to keep us engaged is going to keep us focused and also will help us to learn from each other yes somebody was saying something uh yes ma'am i would like to add uh being in the customer's position what exactly the customer wants or what's uh, what is his demand from us uh, or the product so we can uh, means we can add it to the design thinking uh, hold that thought tejashree i think that's a very very good thought and it's very very similar to what nazreen also said yes. that can we keep uh, the customer at the center of the thinking process So on that note let's move ahead and let me ask a question from all of you if imagine there is a office building a huge office building with 40 50 floors okay uh, and there are only two lifts or elevators in that building okay and there are multiple offices bhai 50 floor ki building hogi to bahut sare offices honge na us building mein to और बहुत सारे लोग सुबह आते होंगे ऑफिस और बहुत सारे लोग जाते होंगे वापस सो द द एम्प्लॉज ऑफ दोज ऑफिस स्टार्टेड कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट यू नो दैट देर इज द लिफ्ट टेक टू मच टाइम बहुत ही ज्यादा समय लगता है लिफ्ट में अब आप uh, अगर आप uh, वो इंसान है जिससे ये कंप्लेन करी जा रही है तो आप क्या करेंगे think about it take a minute and think about what would you do what would you do anybody can answer kisi bhi tarike ke solutions ho sakte hain टेक्नोलॉजिकल सोल्यूशन हो सकते हैं मैकेनिकल सोल्यूशन हो सकते हैं कैसे भी आप सोल्यूशन जो आपके हिसाब से हो सकता है बजट और तोड़ना फोड़ना ये सब सब करा जा सकता है आप ये सोचिए कि अगर लोगों आपसे लोग आके ये कहते हैं आपसे तो आप क्या करेंगे द कॉन्स्टेंट शुड बी मिनिमम कॉस्ट विथ मैक्सिमम इम्पैक्ट 
मैम आई सजेस्ट दैट दोज ऑफिसर Please tell yes, me. Yes, ma'am. Tejeshree here. I yes, would like yes. to suggest. Uh, I would like to suggest that those who, whose officers are on first, second, or third floor, we will request them to use these stairs instead okay. of going to the lift. Okay. If they are if they are comfortable or uh, they are fit and fine to use these stairs. Okay. Uh, so you will suggest a few people to start using the lift. Uh, so you start using the stairs on the lower uh, floors. Yes. Yes, okay. for lower floors, it's uh, good to use stairs actually. Okay. What else? Very uh, uh, okay. Uh, one suggestion is that. What else? Uh, can just. I Uh, yeah, Poonam Rohan here. Uh, just yeah. adding on to what uh, Tejasree said, uh, I would like, in fact, you know, in suggesting to go for uh, for stairs, we might no, we might not be aware who has medical history or what not. So instead, we'll segment them. Like you know, uh, if there are two lifts, we'll segment them into twenty five. So the first lift would only uh, cater to uh, the first twenty five floors, and the other one can cater from twenty six onwards to fifty, if the building. Okay. So okay. that is one approach. Okay. ओके सो यू विल सेग्रीगेट द पीपल सो यू विल डिवाइड देम एंड यू विल से कि आधे लोग इससे चले जाएं आधे लोग उससे चले जाएं तो दोनों लेग्स जो है पूरा पूरा राउंड नहीं करेंगी सो द नंबर ऑफ पीपल बी विल बी रिड्यूस इन ईच लिफ्ट एसेंशियली राइट या द मल्टीपल हॉल्ड्स दैट इट वुड टेक दैट वुड कट डाउन ओके दैट्स अ वेरी लॉजिकल सजेशन एनीबॉडी एल्स टू मोर सजेशंस टू मोर सजेशन और क्या करा जा सकता है मे बी मॉडिफाई द लिफ्ट मॉडिफाई द लिफ्ट हाउ डू यू मॉडिफाई द मतलब कैसे मॉडिफाई करेंगे मैम उसके पीछे मैकेनिज्म रहता है पुलिस सिस्टम का तो मे बी वी कैन डू दैट उसको बड़ा कर देंगे uh, या छोटा कर देंगे Yeah. Uh, yes, actually to uh, increase the capacity of the uh, lift. Actually, okay. what Shweta is uh, going uh, telling to increase the people. Actually, small lifts usually have eight to ten people to travel. But uh, if we uh, extend the size of the so lifts, so almost twenty people can move in the lift. Okay. It okay. will eventually increase the cost. so it will it is a solution but it will increase the cost okay let me ask you another question related to this what is the problem the wait time the wait time dekh liya sabne the wait time <laughs> is lift the problem or the wait time the problem so sir everybody is saying the wait time is the problem ek second ke liye agar ye sochte hain dekhi kuch solutions aaye ye sochte hue ki lift problem humne abhi aaj zyada tar jo solutions diye wo ye soch ke diye ki lift ka problem hai so jo do teen tarike ke solutions aaye first solution was that let's uh, uh, you know divide the uh, floors or uh, sorry first solution was let's ask people to take the stairs so the number of people reduce in the lifts second suggestion was that uh, please uh, let's you know divide the number of people going in each lift lift by dividing the floors for each lift right third solution was for uh, let's increase the size of the lift or increase the speed of the lift so that uh, more number of people can travel right now tell me what these all these solutions uh, were catering to the problem as the lift or were they catering to the problem as the wait time think but i'll rephrase it i'll rephrase the question humne uh, jo bhi changes kare वो ये सोच कर करे कि भैया लिफ्ट में कुछ अदला आ, कुछ फेर बदल कर देते हैं कुछ अदला बदली कर देते हैं सो दैट आर प्रॉब्लम विल बी सॉल्व्ड डिड वी ट्राई एन अप्रोच इट फ्रॉम अ वेट टाइम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू
Okay. Can anybody think of extremely cost effective ways uh, to you know engage people during the wait time? Keep a hot there, Kadir and up. Ma'am, yes, Nikhil. So, then we can add a uh, entertainment system in the lift, like a screen which your news or play songs like that. Brilliant. Brilliant. You can have an entertainment system in the in the waiting area where people will not feel bored while they are waiting for the lift. So they cannot uh, means get they bored can inside. There. Brilliant, brilliant. Hmm. Any other ideas? Think guys quickly. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, please tell me. Can we approach people to change their shift timings? Okay. Another good idea. So if we reduce the number of people walking into the building itself, the wait time will decrease. But that will require a lot of change. Don't you think so? The work times will because maybe not all offices can work in a format where you can have different shifts. Right, maybe uh, people from all the departments are required. So then that will become slightly more tricky, but it is a valid solution. So let's move forward. So the point was that the problem was that the wait time is the problem as we discussed. If we consider the lift to be the problem, the solutions will be these and a couple of more that came in. Make the lift faster, change the motor, bigger lift, divide the floors, etc. If we considered the wait time as the problem, the uh, solutions will change. Mirrors laga dije maha pe, taki log jo hai apne baal baal thik kare, they don't get so bored over there. Koi sanitization station laga dije, especially in the COVID times where people coming in a little later can sanitize their things and by the time the lifts come, they, they are ready to move in. There can be a coffee machine. There can be an entertainment system. So the, the solutions will change. Do you concur with that thought process? Yeah, yeah that so is correct. Jaha hum logo ne apna problem ko change kiya, wahi hamare solutions farak ho gaye. Got it? So this is what. Uh, let me let me take another example. What comes to your mind when I say knife? You don't have to tell me. Just imagine a knife. In your mind. OK. Now what comes to your mind if I say kitchen knife? Or a chef's knife? Chopping. Chopping, chopping board and very sharp knife correct uh, what will come to your mind when i say an army knife protection tell me Protection is the outcome. What kind of a knife will come to you? It is smaller in size because they can it is smaller in size because you have to foldable. It is foldable. foldable. Perfect. Perfect. Ma I mean, smaller and more sharper. More small and more sharp, sharp. And if I may say so, more lethal because it is being used to prevent attacks on yourself as an army professional or as a protection professional, right? What will come to your mind when I say Swiss knife? Multi-purpose. Perfect. Multi-purpose wala jo wo ek holder type ka aata hai. Jis mein, you know, ek knife bhi hoti, ek paper cutter bhi hota hai, etc, etc, right? A bottle opener and everything. That Swiss knife, uh, uh, you know, thing that comes in which there are multiple things together. Right? What comes to your mind when we say children's knife? The plastic one. The plastic one which children use for eating or for playing, etc. Right now, are these four images different from the original knife that you had thought in your mind? 
yes right correct so which also means कि कई बार जब प्रॉब्लम्स हमारे सामने आती हैं या कोई भी सिचुएशन हमारे सामने आती है वी ड्रॉ द इमेज और वी प्रोवाइड द सोल्यूशन विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द एंड यूजर ऑफ दैट सोल्यूशन वी प्रोवाइड द सोल्यूशन बेसिस आर परस्पेक्टिव अलोन वट एवर इज आर परस्पेक्टिव इट मे बी क्लोजर टू द एंड यूजर इट मे नॉट बी क्लोजर टू द एंड यूजर इज वेल am i right or wrong in saying so please contradict wherever you feel correct uh, yeah right so uh, you know uh, when we provide solutions based on our perspectives they our own bias our own thought process our own you know past experiences can creep into the solution providing mechanism right hence images as as we discussed images changed with every user uh that's the power of human centered design so the more we understand our end user the more probability is that our design of our solution is going to be more useful am i right in saying so right so what happens in a um, you know customer or consumer at the center of the designing process leads to design thinking now the thing is that how do you actually go about doing this and that is what design thinking leads us to so let's understand what exactly is design thinking design thinking is an approach that uses the designer's sensibility and methods for problem solving to meet people's needs in a technologically feasible and commercially viable way in other words design thinking is human centered innovation few uh, you know buzzwords to keep in mind first human centered innovation human centered innovation which a few people in the beginning also said that design thinking is keeping the end customer in mind and then designing a solution for that second uh, it is a problem solving mechanism it is a method to solve problems there are multiple methods to solve solve problems you must have heard of systems thinking you've talked about critical thinking you've talked about uh, we are talking about design thinking we've uh, there are so many other ways of solving problem but design thinking is the only human centered innovation approach which keeps the end user at the center of the designing process i hope that makes sense any doubts over here please unmute and ask okay i'll move forward since nobody's asked a question now what are the different ways of traditional वे ऑफ थिंकिंग ट्रेडिशनली हम लोग क्या करते हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम आई इसका सही जवाब क्या है राइट क्वेश्चन लिफ्ट वाले एग्जाम्पल से सोचे फर्स्ट थिंग वी डेड पीपल वर हैविंग दिस प्रॉब्लम वी क्विकली जम्प इन टू द सोल्यूशनिंग मोड एंड वी थॉट दैट दीज आर वी स्टार्ट गिविंग द सोल्यूशन वी डिड नॉट थिंक वॉट इज द एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम वॉज द लिफ्ट और द और द वेट टाइम so design thinking encourages us to understand what is the right question traditional method mein kya hota hai repeatable proven process ye sadiyon se chala aa raha hai hum yahi karenge to usse hame success milegi x action will lead to y result so we will do x actions for solving the x problem right whereas design thinking is more intuitive in nature when i say intuitive in nature they look at the problem and a lot of other things that are affecting that problem we don't look at that problem akele akele we look at a multiple things that affect the problem mere pedo mein phool nahi aa rahe hain my plants are not flowering in this season the design thinking person will say what is the soil type whether there has been enough rainfall whether there is enough sunlight whether the plant Uh, flowers in a particular season and is this the right season for it etc etc 
whereas a design a, a traditional method person okay if you add a little bit of uric urea in the soil it will start flowering so i will add urea in the soil and it will start flowering right so design that is a difference between a traditional approach and a design thinking human centered approach designing traditional method saying says we design for people whereas design thinking designs with the customer it takes the customer into account at all points of time so i will ask if i have to talk if i am solving a problem for nikita i will say okay nikita this is can you spell out your problem she will tell me her problem i will design a solution and then go back to nikita nikita does this solve your problem nikita will say no i think this is not the solution let's try something else then i'll again define the problem again design a solution again go back to nikita and so on and so forth so i am designing the solution along with the customer a sample base keeping in mind and then along with them i'm designing the solution for them instead of just saying okay, okay this is the problem let me design it think for insight is a traditional way build insight is the design thinking way tell more is the traditional way so you know uh, a lot of times you will see kis uh, rocket singh kisne movie dekhi hai is there anybody who seen the movie rocket singh please unmute and tell me don't tell me ha kisi ne movie nahi dekhi rocket singh ranbir kapoor we are all sitting in india mumbai hello am i audible yes ma'am okay so is there anybody who seen the movie rocket singh मैम देखिए लेकिन पूरी नहीं देखी हाफ ऑफ इट मैम हाफ ऑफ इट ओके हां उसको बॉस बॉसिंग की चल रहे थे ऐसा कुछ है ना रणबीर सिंह के ऊपर सो अम इट्स अ गुड मूवी गाइस स्पेशली फॉर एमबीए प्रोफेशनल्स आई वुड रेकमेंड इट पीपल हु आई एम अ बिग मूवी बफ सो आई एम शेयरिंग माय एक्सपीरियंसेस लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम लू मूवीज देयर इज अ सीन इन द मूवी व्हिच सेस सेल मी अ पेंसिल सो इफ आई से sell me a pencil what would you do anybody unmute and stop create demand well pure with spirit yeah go ahead please go ahead Okay, Poonam, I'll take the plunge. So it's pretty similar to what I've seen in Wolf of Wall Street, done by Jordan Belfort. So yeah, it's you'll yeah. just uh, ask them to you know note down your contact number or something. Do you have pen? The person would say, I don't. Okay, here's the pen that I have, and I'll sell. That's how the sale is made. Correct. So that's how the sale is made. So this that's a push sale. uh but essentially uh that's one example what else can you do if i if somebody asks you to sell a pen you will just not ask in reality you will not ask for the money and move out of it right just by giving the pen away right so how will you sell a pencil uh ma'am as you just said you are a movie buff something so uh, can you list the names to me the names for of that what? you needed a pen so i will i will sell you a pen acha okay so for that if i need a pen then if you ask me to list the names and uh, uh, so you will give me a pen and you say okay now you have to buy this pen right that's what you're saying uh kind of ma'am like uh, i need the movie list i need the movie list so uh, do you have the list and you don't have the pen that can happen in movies my dear but that will not happen in reality uh it will if you are supposed if somebody is supposed you can't tell a person that buy a it's a push sale it's a forced sale right so it is very difficult to do that so normally what people would do if you know you ask to sell a pencil there are two ways of doing it one way is you will say okay, okay my i have a very good pencil it is from a very reliable brand natraj ki pencil hai the uh, you know the writing is very smooth it doesn't break very often etc etc so you will list the benefits of the pencil or the brilliance of the pencil second way of doing it is 
somebody would ask me uh, sir how would you how do you really go about writing do you use a pen or a pencil why do you use a pen the uh, different ways of uh, you know writing can be through a pencil you can erase it but if you write with a pen you can't erase it my pencil is as dark as a pen but you can erase it still so you know for the two the difference in the two ways of selling would be in the first way you highlight the benefits of the pencil whereas in the second way you highlight the need of the customer are you getting the difference yeah 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 so most of the sales people uh, when you go out and sell or when you talk about anything we all are in most of the time are in a tell mode we we prefer to tell hamare paas bahut kuch hai batane ko hum apne product ke bare mein apne uh, interview mein bhi jayenge na to we like to talk a lot about ourselves ya uh, hum kisi bhi profession mein jaye aap kisi bhi department mein kaam kare sabse pehle aap apne bare mein batana chahte hain agla kya chahta hai ye sunna hum zyada tar nahi chahte so design thinking in the design thinking approach the more we listen the better the design becomes that's the belief system in a traditional approach we like to talk about our products or we like to talk about what we are thinking and what we are doing uh, and tell more rather than listen more so this is the difference between a traditional approach and a design thinking way of doing things uh traditional people that's why are normally stuck inside wo ek hi cheez ko gol 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 ghumte rehte hain whereas design thinking helps us think out of the box that was an expectation in the beginning think out of the box traditional ways they talk about data design thinking ways they talk about stories so far in the last half an hour 40 minutes that we've been talking we've been talking about stories we've been talking about examples whereas in a traditional way they will give data 100 saal se hum ye kar rahe hain agle 100 saal bhi hum ye karte chale jayenge aur usko baad hame wohi results milte jayenge jo pichle 100 saal se mil rahe hain traditional ways talks about events design thinking talks about experience how can i change the experience traditional ways talks about facts uh design thinking talks about feelings now this is very very important guys नॉर्मली पीपल डोंट रिमेम्बर आपने कई बार ये सेइंग भी हो सकता है सुनी हो कि लोगों को ना इवेंट्स uh, नहीं याद रहते हैं लेकिन हाउ या लोग नहीं याद रहते हैं लेकिन आपने उनको कैसा महसूस करवाया ये याद रहता है हाउ दे फील अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर थिंग इज व्हाट दे रिमेम्बर दैट्स वॉट अ लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज आर ट्राइंग टू अचीव लाइक एन एपल you won't exactly remember what is what are the features of an apple phone but you would remember that ek apple phone ko own karke my life became far more convenient i would remember the experience it gave me not exactly about the facts same thing goes for any premium thing if you go to five star hotels or if you go to a good restaurant you may not remember what you ordered after a few weeks but you would remember ki that was a great restaurant i completely enjoyed because the experience or how it made you feel was very important traditional ways are very siloed whereas design thinking approach talks about a collaborative approach that's the way we can enhance the whole experience right so these are some of the things that differentiates design thinking from traditional ways of problem solving so design thinking uh, is radically different from a traditional way of problem solving moving ahead let's see this as an example i want you to i just give me a second let me share the audio as well please tell me if it is not audible as once i play design thinking is essential to problem solving for two really big reasons one it put puts people first in the problem solving journey the closer you stay to the person and their stories the better the solution will be number 2 
Design thinking provides a repeatable process that leads almost virtually to successful solutions. And there are studies to show this from Stanford University to Fortune 500 companies like PepsiCo. Now, what kind of problems can design thinking solve? Simply put, any. You can look at anything from a business problem to a personal problem. I use it to help my customers solve communication strategies, but I also help my daughter communicate more effectively with her peers. The process is the same, the content is the only thing that differs. And when you see the universality of this, it becomes such a powerful tool. Okay, so how does this work? Let me help you by having you take a look at this graphic. This is called the problem tree analysis. Now, what you see here, the center of the trunk is the problem. And as you look upward, you see all the visible effects of this problem. But if you look down below, there are all the different causes. Now, like in real life, the challenge is really getting to the root causes. You can't see what's underneath. And what design thinking helps you to do is get to the heart, get to the root of that potential problem. And what design thinking provides is the ability to question, do I have everything I need to solve this problem? So let's make this real. The Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. is a great example. There's a group that's responsible for maintaining the monument. And what they saw was that it was crumbling. Little bits and pieces were actually coming off the monument. Now, the group responsible for maintaining the large monument felt that it was the chemicals in their cleaning process that was creating the deterioration. But one lonely design thinker asked, well, why are we so aggressive with the cleaning process? OK, guys, I will pause this here. Can somebody tell me what is the problem that this guy told? In the video. Anybody please unmute and tell me what is the problem with the monument? Uh, so Rohan here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, while maintaining, so as he already highlighted that with the maintenance staff and trying to do the cleaning work, they appear to see the little flax, you know, uh, you know, skidding out of the surfaces. So uh, that is essentially the problem. So it might uh, deteriorate the structural integrity of that. Of the monument. Yeah, okay. correct. Great. So uh, just repeating uh, what you're saying is uh, the problem is that uh, there is a lot of cleaning of the white monument that happens and uh, small pieces of the monument ek patli si parat us monument ki nikalti ja rahi hai with every cleaning process so you can see that there are cracks that are coming and dheere dheere na wo monument ukhad raha hai in a way aur agar ye lambe samay tak hota raha to monument deteriorate hoke shayad toot bhi sakta hai ya usko bahut zyada harm ho sakta hai this is the problem at hand am i clear thank you so much for uh, paraphrasing it for me uh, now i would request everyone to tell me if this is the problem statement or ya ye dikh raha hai humko ye problem ho rahi hai so how would you go about approaching this problem what would you do if you were to solve this problem, what would you do? Anybody? Uh, Ma'am, I would like to add uh, Tejashri yes. here. Yeah, uh, Some medium, uh, medium uh, if available would be applied on this monument. So whatever may be the effects who are going on, uh, means going on the monument due to natural things. So it may be avoidable. OK, so you mean that the chemicals that are used are causing the deterioration. So if we substitute chemicals and substitute some other things, then maybe it won't be deterioration. Na ho. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. That's what you're saying, Tejashri? Uh, yes, ma'am. Great. Uh, OK, that is one way of looking at it. Anything else? Uh, so uh, 
Jeff, uh, I would like to pick an example from a yeah. monument which I visited during Goa, Rohingya. Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, it's uh, the cleaning work is due to there's a lot of uh, you know crowd that surrounds it. So maybe you know the, we can uh, build a sort of fence or a perimeter beyond which uh, you know a crowd cannot uh, physically get uh, you know physically touch or do something which uh, would uh, you know which would cause that dirt and all the other things to be surrounded in the area which would then go about clean with basically it's a chain thing so you know, so if I, we could build I, a perimeter which yeah and i will share with you that you are moving into the solution you are giving the solution but one thing very good that you observed that because too many people are coming the cleaning has to happen very frequently so if we can contain the crowd maybe we can uh, or if we can in, uh, find a way in which it doesn't get dirty as often maybe the cleaning may not be required as often that's what you're saying right yeah true true so but you're getting into the solution that the 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 dirty uh, the monument is getting dirty because of the crowd so that is a pre assumption that you're moving with isn't that yeah, an assumption? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so that is that is a good one. Correct. So great, great insight. So, सबसे पहली चीज जो तेजश्री ने बोली is कि जो chemical है उसकी वजह से ये monument deteriorate हो रहा है. Good observation. ये तो fact है. This is a fact that तेजश्री has stated. Great. Second, इसका रोहित ने बोला कि Uh, क्योंकि मॉन्यूमेंट इतना ज्यादा गंदा होता है इस वजह से हमें उसको बार बार क्लीन करना पड़ रहा है सेकेंड लेयर ऑफ क्वेश्चनिंग कैन आई फिगर आउट अ वे कि वो इतना गंदा ही ना हो लेट्स लुक ऑन दिस नोट लेट्स लुक एट द वीडियो फर्दर आई एम रिवाइंडिंग इट अ बिट बाई फ्यू सेकेंड सो दैट वी कैन बी कनेक्टेड Thinker asked, well, "Why are we so aggressive with the cleaning process?" To which most replied, "It's because of the pigeon poop. Why are pigeons pooping there? It's an obelisk. There's really no place for a bird to sit, let alone poop." And the group replied, "It's because they're there for the spiders. Pigeons love to eat spiders. Okay, well, why are spiders there? Right, there's a lot of foot traffic. <laughs> you know, that's not a safe place for spiders. Well, spiders are coming there because of moths." Moths are a delicacy to spiders, so they're willing to risk their lives to have that moth. Okay, well, why are the moths there? And the group replied, "Well, because of the lights. They turn on the lights an hour before dusk." To which the design thinker pointed out, "Why don't we just turn off the lights?" So over the next six weeks, the group tested this root cause out, and what they found was that there was an 85% reduction in moths. which led to less spiders which led to less birds and their poop and a wonderful byproduct is that they were able to spend less money on the cleaning and maintenance process great anybody would like to summarize this second part anybody would like to initiate uh, you know take the initiative of summarizing the, this Come on, guys! Please participate. See, one thing is that I can't see you. Then you don't even want to talk. So boring will be a little bit. Let's talk and chit chat a little, little bit. It will, it will be, it will increase the fun quotient. Okay. Uh, since nobody is taking the initiative, let me tell you what happened. Hmm. Yeah, somebody is trying to say something. Na Morma Suraj. Yeah, Varun. या सूरज टेल मी कैन आई कॉल यू सूरज या या प्लीज टेल मैम उसमें फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्रॉब्लम क्या था वो समझने में ही दिक्कत हो गया था जो आपने पहला क्वेश्चन पूछा तो एक मतलब आउटपुट देना चाहता हूँ समराइज मुझे पता नहीं मैं कर पा रहा हूँ की नहीं बट उसे हाँ, क्या समझ नहीं. में आया मुझे वो बता रहा हूँ जैसे मतलब प्रॉब्लम ये नहीं था कि वो ज्यादा गंदा हो रहा है प्रॉब्लम ये था कि वो क्यों इतना गंदा हो रहा है और फिर स्टेप बाई स्टेप जैसा पहले वो स्पाइडर स्पाइडर मतलब क्यों आते हैं वहाँ वैसा उन्होंने सोचा फिर वो मॉस कुछ है वो फिर उसको उन्होंने हटाया तो लगभग सब पूरा प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो गया ब्रिलियंट सो इट इट वाज अ शॉर्ट समरी सूरज थैंक यू बट आई लेट मी 
रीपैराफ्रेज इट अगैन सो क्या होता था मॉन्यूमेंट के ऊपर बहुत सारे कबूतर आते थे और हम सबको पता है अगर बहुत कबूतर आते हैं तो क्या होता है तो सबने कहा कि यार कबूतर क्यों आते इतने ज्यादा एक स्ट्रेट खड़े हुआ पिलर टाइप का मॉन्यूमेंट है उस पर क्यों इतने कबूतर आते हैं सो so, किसी और ने कहा कि वहां पे बहुत सारे स्पाइडर्स होते हैं स्पाइडर्स क्यों होते हैं जब इतना ट्रैफिक है इतने लोग आ रहे हैं जा रहे हैं तो इतने सारे स्पाइडर्स क्यों आते हैं तो पता चला कि स्पाइडर्स इसलिए आते हैं क्योंकि बहुत सारे पतंगे होते हैं मौत समझते हैं छोटे छोटे से कीड़े आ जाते हैं जब लाइट जलती है रात में उसको बोलते हैं मौत तो वो आ जाते हैं अब वो क्यों आ जाते हैं वो इसलिए आ जाते हैं क्योंकि रात में लाइट जलती है और आ, वो मॉन्यूमेंट को हाईलाइट करने के लिए और उसकी वजह से मौत्स आ जाते हैं मौत्स की वजह से स्पाइडर्स आ जाते हैं स्पाइडर्स को खाने के लिए पिजन आते हैं सो ना वन थिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नोटिस इज दैट दे डायरेक्टली डिड नॉट मूव इन टू अ सोल्यूशन दे लेयर बाय लेयर बाय लेयर दे वर क्वेश्चनिंग द प्रॉब्लम अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन सो द प्रॉब्लम वॉज did not remain at uh, you know why is it getting dirty the problem shifted the problem statement only shifted the problem statement started with why is it getting dirty say it came down to why are there so many moths do you realize that problem yes. statement hi change ho gaya hamara yes ma'am yes ma'am So it yeah, is one very... can not really fathom that it would go to yeah. that ex- that of an extent. Yeah. Exactly my point. That happened because they went to the root of the cause. Root of the cause. So, हम लोगों ने जो वो tree diagram देखा था, हम लोग देखते हैं कि भई एक problem है, उसके पचास, उसकी वजह से बहुत सारी छोटी-छोटी और problems हो रही हैं. The causes, the the effects of those problems are creating a havoc in our life whether professional life or personal life and then there is a set of causes that is leading to that problem aapko wo tree wala diagram dikha yaad hai jo isme dikhaya gaya tha video mein so yes, root sir. cause so normally what happens we define the problem ki bhai ye ganda bahut hota hai iski wajah se hum hame safai karni padti hai uski wajah se chemicals ki wajah se wo deteriorate ho raha hai लेकिन हम नॉर्मली क्या करते हैं फर्स्ट लेवल की प्रॉब्लम का ही सोल्यूशन निकालने में लग जाते हैं वी डोंट ट्राई टू गो डीप डाउन एंड रीडिफाइन द प्रॉब्लम एंड दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द डिजाइन थिंकिंग प्रोसेस सो लेट मी शेयर माय स्क्रीन अगेन विथ यू सो नाउ व्हाट वर दे एग्जैक्टली डूइंग नॉर्मली क्या होता है हमारे पास चार पांच चॉइसेस होती हैं सॉल्यूशन की ऐसा करते हैं हम केमिकल चेंज कर देते हैं दूसरा तरीका ये है कि हम इतनी सफाई नहीं करते रहने देते हैं तीसरा तरीका किसी ने बताया था कि यू नो हम फेंसिंग कर देते हैं तो लोग ही नहीं आएंगे तो गंदा ही नहीं होगा सो वट डू वी डू इज दिस इज कॉल्ड अ कन्वर्जेंट थिंकिंग विच मीन्स वी फिगर आउट दिस इज माई बेस्ट प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट and we find four five solutions for it and then we pick the best solution practically possible and implement that in a normal traditional setup and that's uh, you know we all are used to doing that because we feel that's quicker and faster and easily implementable and that's going to solve the problem at least for the short run as an immediate solution ho jayega correct but in design thinking we diverge the options by questioning the problem statement is itself que- problem statement ko hi humne question kar kar ke kar 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 ke humne paanch char paanch bar usko question kiya aur hamara problem statement hi change ho gaya we completely changed what the real problem was and we came down to a different problem which gave us a different set of solutions which might be far more effective innovative and creative in its own way and that's what design thinking is all about so now that we've understood what exactly is design thinking let me dive deep into what is the process this is the process of divine the design thinking empathize divine define 
ideate, prototype and test. Please read these words. Take a moment. If you want, you can take a screenshot also of this. This is very important. Uh, and uh, I want somebody to tell me what do they mean by empathize? Yeah, uh, Rowan here again. Yes, uh, Rowan. So, yeah, so yeah. having empathy towards, like, for example, if uh, we are putting ourselves into customer shoes, so obviously it is important to, you know, empathize with their needs and uh, the problems that they are facing. So it truly puts ourselves into our customer shoes to identify how would they feel like. So empathize towards their problems, having empathy. Okay. Ma'am, are you here? Yes, please. I say. think empathy is, a, uh, empathy is a quality that uh, uh, one should put uh, oneself into that position which is uh, which the other person is and think accordingly. Very good. Very well put, both of you, Rohin and. Um, OK. Uh, another way of see looking at it is. Let me show you a video okay? and then we will come back to the slide. Second, guys. Please tell me if the audio is is missing or something, right? It's just there's all this pressure, you know? And sometimes it feels like it's right up on me and I can just feel it, like literally feel it in my head and it's relentless. And I don't know if it's going to stop. I mean, that's the thing that scares me the most is that I don't know if it's ever going to stop. Yeah. Well, you do have a nail in your head. It is not about the nail. Are you sure? Because, I mean, I'll bet if we got that out of there. Stop would... trying to fix it. No, I'm not trying to fix it. I'm just pointing out that maybe the nail is causing. You always do this. You always try to fix things when what I really need is for you to just listen. You know, see, I don't think that is what you need. I think what you need is to get the nail. See, you're out. not even listening now. Okay, fine. I will listen. Fine. It's just sometimes it's like there's this achy. I don't know what it is. And I'm not sleeping very well at all. And all my sweaters are snagged. I mean, all of them. That sounds really hard. It is. Thank you. Ow! Oh, come on. If you would just don't try to see things my way. Okay. So, what did the woman want? Oh, let, oh, let me put it like this. What was the problem? The nail. She just wanted, she just uh, wanted someone is, to listen uh, to her. My name okay. is Midun Nair and I was the one who said the nail. Okay, Midun. So, uh, Rohan says that she just wanted someone to listen. And Midu says that the nail was the problem. Any other opinions? Ma'am, he was not able to understand what she wants to say. Mm, I, no, I think he was able to understand what she wants to say. He was not willing to. He was not willing to do something else. Listen. He was not willing to listen. Okay. And I agree with Rohin. The problem for the woman. For the woman in the video was not the nail. The problem for her was that she wanted the guy to listen. And he was not listening. That was her problem. And how would we know that? 
कोई बाहर से अगर देखेगा तो उसको क्या लगेगा उसको यही लगेगा ना तो प्रॉब्लम इज द नेल करेक्ट बट इफ वी लुक एट द वीडियो होलिस्टिकली तो हमें समझ में आएगा कि द प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वुमन वॉज नॉट द नेल द प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वुमन वॉज द फैक्ट दैट ही वॉज नॉट लिस्निंग दैट इज वॉट इज एम्पथी माई फ्रेंड्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स द प्रॉब्लम दैट इज विजिबल टू अस इज नॉट द प्रॉब्लम फॉर द पीपल हु आर फेसिंग इट and that we can only find out if we actually go and interact with them so the first step if we want to use design thinking is to empathize with the end customer so what you should ideally do the process of doing that is go and interview them meet them understand them that what are the uh, problems with the products that they are using or currently what are the problems that will help you take the next step which is define the actual problem when we listen to our customers or the people we are wanting to help or the problem that we are to, trying to solve we are able to actually define the problem so first step is empathize with the different customer bases now while you are empathizing there are some do's and don'ts first set of do's and don'ts don't let your personal bias creep into that empathy process that listening process don't try to pinpoint the problem while you are listening to them don't try to uh, you know bring in your past experiences in the empathy process only listen and record the information that is being given to you once you have enough and more data to go back to then you get down to defining the problem which we did in the first video of the uh, of the monument you go ahead and redefine and again define and again question and again question the assumptions then finally come to the actual problem that you want to solve the problem was not uh, that we were trying to solve in the monument thing that it was getting dirty the problem was that we had to reduce the number of moths which will solve the problem so redefine the problem after you redefine the problem that's when the step of ideation comes into picture now uh, as management uh, professionals i'm going to ask you imagine yourself to be uh, 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 you know the head of the sales department and you want to increase Uh, obviously your first problem is that let's say your problem is there is lot of attrition that is your problem after the defining process and talking to people you have come to that conclusion that the problem is attrition how will you uh, ideate for solutions who all will you include in the ideation process i'll repeat you are the head of a sales department of a company The problem is that आपकी टीम से बहुत सारे लोग नौकरी छोड़ के जा रहे हैं दिस हैज कम आउट आफ्टर कंडक्टिंग एम्पथी इंटरव्यूज टेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ डेटा एंड एन डिफाइनिंग एंड रीडिफाइनिंग द प्रॉब्लम दिस इज द फाइनल प्रॉब्लम दैट हैज कम आउट नाउ यू हैव टू आइडिएट एंड सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम हाउ विल यू हु ऑल विल यू इंक्लूड इन दैट आइडिएशन प्रोसेस yeah uh, rohan here again uh, yeah, rohan. so if i were to go about solving this i would obviously include the hr professionals and also have a look at our current onboarding experience and uh, the performance measuring sentiments so you know the so okay you will go back to people who have uh, already left your company and ask them for why did you leave the company essentially that's what you're saying figure out why people left and go back to the and include the hr professionals right or not yeah. yeah so uh, like whenever you leave there's a exit interview and there's a sort of form that one yeah. has to fill so it has to get an idea what's the purpose of leaving so based on the stats that you know what causes them to leave it would be Perfect. you know it in in a sense we would try to go to the roots of the problem finding out if there's a company policy if there's anything better that we can do involving them more the you know in decision making process something that makes them feel valuable to you know stay and thus retaining the talent okay 
Great. Uh, so you will go through the exit interviews. You will talk the HR, include the HR professionals. Is there anyone else you would like to include in the ideation process that how can we stop the attrition? Maybe the bosses are not happy, uh, are creating a very uh, unfriendly environment. Maybe there is a lot of shouting and yelling, etc. that's going on at the branches. So would you like to include leaders? From yeah, within the operations team. The op not not the operations, the sales leadership, maybe branch managers and area managers, etc. Then would you want to include the training people because those are the quite be possible uh, that you know people were not trained enough and they were not able to perform and hence they are leaving the company mm, i mean it can be depending again coming Correct. back to circling back to so the root cause so what i am so. trying to say uh, to everyone actually is that ideation is a process that cannot be done in a silo once you have defined the problem the ideation process has to be done with all the possible stakeholders who might be impacting the problem area in a small or a big way, because that is the way that we can, uh, you know, figure out what whether we are in uh, thinking in the right direction and how we can solve the problem creation of the solution that can happen only when we include more and uh, everybody who is impacting the solution who is going to be participating in the solution uh, giving process to the end user so ideation normally companies may kya hota hai ki uh, silos mein hota hai sales team hai to sales ka head baith jayega ek do aur log baith jayenge and then they will provide the solution and it may not be workable or not because they the, the maybe that is not the problem at all so Hence, in the ideation phase, it is more important to include people from all walks who can who will be a uh, part party in uh, implementing the solution. Finally, once you ideate on this can be the solution or these five solutions can be we should prototype. What is a prototype? Prototype is creating a product which can be tested on a small group of individuals to see whether it is feasible or not. Right, that is a prototype and then you finally test. You finally test using that prototype whether it is feasible or not. So this in essentially is the design thinking process. Now let's see this whole process uh, through somebody's experience. Let me walk you through another video. Uh, ma'am, is there a sound with video because we cannot hear it? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, the ma video is not audible. Okay. Just a second. Let me reshare the video. Is the uh, audio, uh, you know, can you hear the audio now? Equipment in the heart yes, of Silicon Valley. And these are designers at IDEO, probably the most influential product development firm in the world. Designers are the reason TVs have square screens, chairs, four legs, and toothbrushes nowadays, those squishy handles. In fact, it was IDEO that designed those squishy handles.
IDEO has designed everything from high-tech medical equipment to the 25-foot mechanical whale in the movie Free Willy and the first computer mouse for Apple. Smith ski goggles, Nike sunglasses, NEC computer screens, hundreds of products we take for granted. This is uh, called the Neat Squeeze, squeeze tooth, uh, Toothpaste Tube, which you invented. The man who runs IDEO is Dave Kelly, a Stanford engineering professor with a Groucho Marx mustache, a dad of genius, and an approach to innovation that usually works. Thank you, Fred. But not always. I can show you some products that failed. I came up with this idea called monster shoes, where you take these little monsters and lace them into your shoes like this. And we built a bunch of them, and um, I didn't want those either. So Mostly what IDEO designs, though, does work, and it works very well. Dave and his design teams create about 90 new products every year. The point is that we're not actually experts at any given area. You know, we're kind of experts on the process of how you design stuff. So we don't care if you give us a toothbrush, a toothpaste tube, a tractor, a space shuttle, you know, a chair. It's all the same to us. We like want to figure out how to innovate in, in by using our process, applying it. And so for the next five days, the team will apply that process to bringing the supermarket shopping cart into the 21st century. I think first we should maybe all acknowledge that it's kind of insane to do an entire an entire project in a week. Project leader is Peter Skillman, a 30. OK, so he IDEO is uh, the place where there was uh, the design thinking was first uh, invented. Tim Brown is the person who was the CEO of this company called IDEO and they kind of invented in a way uh, uh, design thinking as we know it today. And then it was progressed by multiple universities across the world, whether it is Stanford or Kellogg's or and uh, you know patented in their own way. Now, I, what happened in IDEO, a project that came was to design the, the carry cart, the kinds we see in big bazaars. That cart had to be redesigned. And now let's see what happened. Five-year-old Stanford engineer, project leader because he's good with groups, not because of seniority. He's only been at IDEO for six years. The rest of the team is eclectic, but that's typical here. Whitney Mortimer, Harvard MBA. Peter Coughlin, linguist. Tom Kelly, Dave's brother, marketing expert. Jane Fulton Suri, psychologist. Alex Kazax, 26, a biology major, who's turned down medical school three times because he's having too much fun at IPO. Kids climbing up and doing this. Kids. Safety emerges early as an important issue. 22,000 child injuries a year, which is, and so they're hospitalized injuries. I mean, yeah, there, there are many others. Not and, just reported in the store, that's, you actually no, no, have to no, go no, to the that's hospitalized, room. right. Wow. And theft. It turns out a lot of carts are stolen. You know, what is the average life of a cart? Does it last two years, five years, ten years, and... Okay, guys, so if you look at the team that they discussed, somebody is a marketing professional, somebody is a psychologist, somebody is an engineer. So they are from all walks of life. They have the, the task at hand is that they have to design this carry cart, but people who are a part of the team are from all walks of life. That's what I say. Said when we are looking at ideating, that's the phase we want people from all walks to come up with ideas. And how big is this theft thing? 10 a.m. As the team works, it becomes clear there are no titles here, no permanent assignments. And the other side says, gives us a lot of help, says, be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone appears to be equal, and they love to mock corporate America. I'll give you status. I'll give you a big red ball on a, on a, on a, on a post, and that says you're a big guy. If you got a ball, you're a senior vice president. You know, what do I get? The desk, the red ball, it's all the same. <laughs> in a very innovative culture, you can't have a kind of hierarchy of here's the boss and the next person down, the next person down, the next person down, because it's impossible that the boss is the one who's had the insightful experience with shopping carts. It's just not possible. According to Kelly, even employees who merely listen to the boss don't add that much either. So you got to hire people who don't listen to you. And that I don't think corporate America wants to hear that right yet. Um, I think we ought to start making those lists about the kinds of questions that we're going to ask. The team splits into groups to find out firsthand what the people who use, make, and repair shopping carts really think. Okay, go. So now they are going into the first phase, which is empathy. 
now they are going to the market and see what are the what is the user experience and understand what is the first hand information right the problem with the plastic card is the wind catches it yeah and these things uh, have been clocked at 35 across the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's actually a pretty good point. The the trick is to find these real experts in, so that you can learn much more quickly than you could by just kind of doing it the normal way and, and trying to learn about it yourself. From everything I read, these things aren't that safe either, you know? Um, so probably the seat itself is gonna have to be redesigned. What you're seeing here is the kind of social science, like anthropologists, you know, like you go and study tribes. What is it that, that they do that we can learn from that will help us design a better cart? One of the interesting things for me is looking at how people really don't like to let go of the cart, except for the professional shopper, whose strategy is to leave the cart at various places. In corporate America, many bosses like measure whether their whether their people are, uh, you know, who, the good people or the people who are performing are the ones that they see at their desk all the time. That couldn't be further from the truth. The people who are really getting the information are out here talking to the buzzes of the world, going to, to meet other experts, much more useful than sitting at your desk. 3.30 in the afternoon, and the group is back at IDEO. There is no let-up. Each team is going to demonstrate and communicate and share everything that they've learned today. Um, people went off into the four corners of the earth and are coming back with the golden keys to the, to the innovation. A uh, shopping cart has been clocked at 35 miles an hour traveling through a parking lot in the wind. We were in the store, what, two hours? And and it was truly frightening just to see the kind of stuff going on. You got to designate some people to make damn sure that the store owner's point of view is represented. After nine straight hours, the team is tired. They call it a day. So, um, everybody cool? Well, uh, that's great. Thanks a lot. We had a great time today. Yeah. Yeah. Version in the problem at hand. IDEO's mantra for innovation is written everywhere. One conversation at a time. Stay focused. Encourage wild ideas. Defer judgment. Build on the ideas of others. Uh, that's the hardest thing for people to do is to uh, restrain themselves from uh, uh, criticizing an idea. So if anybody starts to nail an idea, they get the bell. You know. <laughs> the deep dive begins, and for the next few... So they're saying the first thing they do is never criticize an idea because you never know what the idea will actually turn out to be. Two hours, the ideas pour out and are posted on the walls. Oh, the blind, the, the privacy blind. Like when you're buying six cases of condoms, you know, and see, <laughs> nesting is, uh, it, it sort of has to nest. If it doesn't nest, we don't have a solution. Uh, Velcro pants and, and Velcro seats for the kids, and you just drop them down on there. And like like the Velcro seats? <laughs> Velcro pants for kids? Yeah, see, uh, you have to have some wild ideas. If Then you build on those wild, wild ideas, and they end up being... Uh, better ideas than if you said if you if everybody only came up with sane things you know kind of appropriate things you'd never like have any points to take off to to build a, a really innovative idea it's organized chaos organized kid. I, it's not organized um what it is is it's focused chaos by 11 a.m the group begins narrowing down the hundreds of ideas written or drawn on the walls how by voting for them Vote with your post-it, not, not... So now they have all the ideas in place. All the different subgroups have come up with a solution on getting a better cart. And now the whole group is voting for which idea seems the best out of all the ideas. Once the voting process is going to be done in the paucity of time, I am going to walk you through the process faster uh, by forwarding it a little bit. They vote and then they create a prototype around that idea. There has to be a command decision. It becomes very autocratic for a very short period of time in defining what things people are going to work on. Like it or not, the team is told it will split into groups to build mock-ups covering four areas of concern that have been identified. Shopping, safety, checkout, and finding what you're looking for. I noticed that toward the end of... The once the ideas are in place, uh, what they start doing is divide into groups and start creating the prototypes, as I just said. Computer screens from direct sunlight and bicycles on ropes 
to prevent clutter. The first guy who hung a bike up on a thing, he didn't come to me and ask me. He didn't ask some facilities person was was okay. He tried it, and then like he waited and see if anybody complained. There's a whole department at ID. Took them straight from there into a room where no choice but to to stop that cycle. I mean, there's um, if you don't work under time constraints, you you could never get anything done because it's a messy process and go on forever. While the team starts building prototypes, Dave Kelly takes me on a tour of the rest of IDEO. What's happening in here is uh, that's a client meeting. That's a first client meeting. That's the first time we met with the client. So we haven't trained them yet. <laughs> if, if we took them straight from there into a room where music was blaring and everybody was throwing Nerf darts at each other, that would be a little hard to take. You know, so um, we're warming them up. But this is, <coughs> this is where the crazies live. This is where we do our work. It's different. You can tell whether a place is playful in about the first 15 minutes as you walk down the hall. This is just going to show that in a design thinking team, hierarchies are not important. Workplace is not important. You can literally ideate and prototype anywhere as long as there is a timeline to it. And forwarding it further, I'm coming to the final part. And then this cart was fabricated in a day with an amazing team of people in our machine shop pulling this off, working in shifts throughout the night. Wow, well, I'm impressed. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> <laughs> the cart, which is designed to cost about the same as today's carts, is different in every other way. Hand baskets that stack in a metal frame and major improvements for all. You, you just lift the handle up, you drop the, you know, put the children in, and then you can close the, um, the, the uh, handle right over them, and they instantly have some little bit of a work surface that they can play with. What do you think? <laughs> Well, I, I'm very proud of the team. I think it's it's great. This, does this work for you? Works for me great. Yeah. It's also beautiful. I mean, let's, you know, take it over to a local supermarket and see what they say. Yeah, it works really well. No. The cart's wheels turn 90 degrees so it can move All sideways. No more lifting up the rear in a tight spot. And you shop in a totally different way. Rather than taking your cart everywhere you go in the store, through a crowded store like this, uh, much more efficient to take a small basket, rush around to where the the uh, particular shelves are and come uh -huh. back and put them back, put them here and treat this as like a center for your shopping. And with a high-tech scanner so that in the future you skip the checkout traffic jam. Here's how you would scan an item. You'd reach over and pick up anything like uh, like the salad dressing and I would, I would scan it and if I want to accept that item I would just press plus and then drop it in my basket. Because stores don't yet have those high-tech scanners the team designed, checking out today means doing it the old-fashioned way. But the bags are hung on hooks on the cart's frame. Remember, there is no basket here. Why get rid of the big basket? The basket is tyranny. The basket is tyranny because it's not really needed. If all your stuff ends up in bags, why need the basket in the first place? The Talk basket. to me about theft. There's no value in this cart without the basket because you can't carry anything in it. It's useless to anybody. You can't use it as a barbecue. So it's not going to get stolen. That's right. So this ought to appeal to store owners. Yeah. OK, guys, so that's about it. Can somebody summarize the steps they followed from a design thinking point of view in this? I hope nobody has gone off to sleep. We still have 10 minutes to go. Hello. Kunal, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you're audible. Yes, ma'am. Great, Madhun. Please tell me. Yes. Does everybody remember the steps of design thinking, by the way? What did they do first? OK, let's forget about the steps. What did they do first? Empathize. Empathize. Great. So first, there is a client which comes to a design thinking company called IDEO and says there is a problem with a cart. The cart is that uh, has some problem and we want it redesigned. And then, the, then they go to empathize. What do they do to go to empathize?
they go to shopping uh, mart and uh, talk with the customers and brilliant take review about so they go it. and take their review about uh, what is uh, it that they are going to do what is their problem from a structure point of view construction point of view any every point of view so they go to to the market and conduct interviews of customers and people who use them great what is the next step Find the problem. What did they do? They defined the problem by how? So they came back and they wrote the problems that their respective customer groups were facing on the board and then they uh, collated all the problems and came up with four main problems safety moving around of the cart and a couple of more which i don't remember so they came up with four specific problems and these are the four problems that people are facing then what happened then they divide themselves into four teams okay and, and started doing what after they divided themselves into four teams they came up with ideas as what kind of cart will solve the four problems correct so every team came up with multiple ideas of how do we solve the problems they came up with different ideas and they put all the ideas on a board so they created a chart and they say my idea is a second person my idea is b third team my idea is c and d so it's on and so forth and then what happened basis the description of the idea people voted on saying that which idea which ideas are worthy of creating a prototype which means during the ideation phase also you can question the feasibility of the idea not the idea ye nahi bolna hai ki ye rubbish hai but what is can we do this also is it relating to the problem statement they constantly did that and voted the the best ideas in that set of ideas once they voted the best ideas what did they do the next step come on guys they make they made a ran a pilot to start to make solutions they they made solutions or in this case they created a prototype which means they created a dummy cart based on the ideas that they had collected correct and once they made the dummy cart they uh, took it to the actual supermarket for testing does it make sense guys yes ma'am do you think this yes, yes, solved the problem yes ma do you think this would solve the problem <laughs> no i think feedback is also important right great so what would happen uh, who said that feedback was is also important rohan rohan uh, brilliantly put so you can see that this process right now has been displayed in a line thing right कि पहले एम्पथाइज करा फिर डिफाइन करा आइडिएट करा प्रोटोटाइप किया और टेस्ट किया टेस्ट के बाद क्या होगा वेरी राइटली से टेस्ट के बाद फीडबैक आएगा कि अच्छा है या बुरा है या प्रॉब्लम है एक्सेट्रा राइट करेक्ट करेक्ट राइट सो इन दैट केस जो फीडबैक आएगा उसके बेसिस पे द होल प्रोसेस विल स्टार्ट अगेन सो इट लुक्स लाइक अ वेरी लॉन्ग प्रोसेस but this has to be an ongoing if there is a feedback that comes we again need to that is again a new problem statement that has come so we have to deep dive into the problem statement again define the exact problem ideate prototype and test again that is the process of design thinking that's when we come up with the and always remember there is no final solution everything is a work in progress even in life isn't it today we are all doing yes, an mbc feel it's going to be a great thing to do 
after few years of working maybe 5 7 8 10 years you would say ki okay it was a great mba experience but let me do a specialization in psychology or let me change my work field from uh, you know let me get into strategy so let me do a specialized course in strategy so we all are work in progress in life also and this is the process we follow in life also exactly the same process you empathize we define a problem we ideate what can be the solutions we you know create prototypes even at home and then we do the final testing you now moms do this every day in and day out they create especially in these corona covid times you know they would ideate that what would my children like and create a small batch of that recipe and test it on us before they feed the rest of the family isn't it and then they again go back and do the same process so design thinking friends is a way of life it is the best approach to problem solving because it always keeps the customer at the heart of it now without uh, in the interest of time let me quickly walk you through what how is critical thinking connected to design thinking critical thinking guys is a del is deliberately analyzing information for better judgment and decisions i'll repeat critical thinking is deliberately analyzing information for better judgment and decisions what do you mean by that how will you analyze any information ask question yeah, great perfect. ask questions what how where when etc right so you anybody who analyzes information is a critical thinker what is the authenticity of this why are we doing this what is the purpose of it is it going to help my end user all these are questions for critical thinking now tell me is design thinking a part of critical thinking or is critical thinking a part of design thinking it is a part of design thinking sorry critical thinking is a part of design thinking or design thinking is a part of critical thinking critical thinking is a part of design design thinking is a part okay i wish i uh, had a um, you know a, a voting mechanism right now uh, but uh, i heard both the responses can i hear some more responses how many people feel uh, critical thinking is a part of design thinking please type yes in the chat box i think krunal will be able to help me with the outcomes people who think critical thinking is a part of design thinking please type yes in the chat box a rest i will assume believe that design thinking is a part of critical thinking Okay, Krunal, can you quickly tell me how many people have responded? Hello, Krunal, do you do I have you? Yes, ma'am. Just a yeah. minute. Yes, we have received a uh, one, two, four, five. Around twenty odd. Uh, 20 plus responses I can see. Okay, but we are lots of us on the in the session. May, may I request others also to quickly respond? Yes. Uh, some new messages are also coming in. Okay. How many people? 
Uh, I think around 40 now. So about 40 people feel that critical thinking is a part of design thinking. Guys, if you realize critical, so the answer, correct answer is critical thinking is a part of design thinking. Design thinking is not a part of critical thinking. Design thinking is an entire process from which you start with a problem statement, define the problem, ideate on the solution, create a prototype and then test it. Whereas critical thinking is just is is a process through which you question the applicability of ev at every step. So you questioned the problem itself. Remember the monument example or the lift example. You uh, questioned the example again, the problem statement itself multiple times to come up the real problem. That is what critical thinking helps us do. And the first one of the first instances of critical thinking, if we see, is seen in history uh, by Socrates. So I don't know if you know, Socrates was a great thinker of old times. He was a philosopher and he was <coughs> he was hanged. He was killed by the government. He was punished and he was killed by the government. And can you guess what was his problem for what? He was punished. Just a guess. Quick guess. Maybe going against government. No. So Socrates was killed for asking questions. For critical thinking. He was one of the few people who at that time had the audacity to question, uh, you know, the element of God, a lot of scientific facts, which were just assumed and moved on with. But Socrates, because he was questioning things again and again, which were established and people truly believed in, so to say, that is the reason why he was killed. And hence, the way of critical thinking is called the Socratic way of thinking. Critical thinking is also called as Socratic way of thinking for precisely that reason. And how it is co connected with design thinking is that it helps us in the ideation and the empathy process. Actually, at every stage, we have to use critical thinking in the design thinking process to ensure that the, we get the best results. So that we I had a few more things to share with you. Uh, one of the reasons why we don't critical think do, don't do critical thinking is because we want to think fast and come up with solutions quickly. So they are less accurate. We don't deep dive. We don't question. Uh, we let our emotions come in the middle of critical thinking. Sometimes we have a negative bias towards something. Sometimes we have a positive bias towards something. And that leads us to uh, not doing critical thinking. We sometimes the sources are something that we don't question. Either we trust the source too much or we say that this source is definitely wrong. We don't trust it at all. So we have a very specific bias towards the source. We don't question it. We don't say, OK, this thing has come. Let me deep dive and check it. We don't verify it that stops us from critical thinking. We have closed minds a lot of times our overconfidence, our pre existing beliefs, the rules, etc. They don't allow us to do critical thinking. And finally, we are too exhaustive. We are too exhausted in life. We're tired. Yeah. Whatever the solution is coming first solution, give it and get over with it. So in order to be a critical thinker, you don't have to be a believer. You have to be somebody who questions status quo again and again and again, and a critical thinker can only become a good design thinker. So on that note, let's close the day. Uh, and I would like to thank all of you for being wonderful participants. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions if you have right away. It will be great to hear from you.
Any questions? Any questions, guys? Questions, guys? You can even post in chat box. Yes, please do. I can't see the chat box, but I'm sure Kunal and the team will be able to help me with that. Any reflections you want to share? What were the critical things that you learned today? How did you like the session? Do you think it was relevant to your course curriculum? Uh, you know, I'd be happy to hear any of those feedbacks, please. Well, Puram, it was for me, Rohan here. Uh, it yes, was really a yeah, it was really a wonderful session. I enjoyed it, and especially, uh, you know, it 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 kind of was a different. It it could it put me on a different uh, thinking path, which I had never thought of that it would that you know one could think that way or idea that way. So it was really important, and I believe uh, you know having said that, it was yeah, it was really interactive. And good Thank one. you, Roman. You were a wonderful participant as well, uh, interacting. That always helps to increase our knowledge. Uh, though on that note, I would say that this is a very vast topic and a very, very interesting topic to dive deep in. And I would request everyone uh, to please uh, go online and research. You know, right now you don't need specific uh, books to refer to. There is a plethora of information that's available on YouTube, on uh, uh, Google. Please go ahead and explore it. You would love to explore this. And as management students, it is the buzzword of the day. Organizations would be expecting you to use it uh, as soon as you uh, join the organization. So please go ahead. Anyone else would like to share their feedbacks? Or reflections? Yeah, ma'am, we have so many responses in chat as well. Everyone loved this session. Thank you so much. Uh, will it be possible for you to please share it with me post the session? Kunal, that was for you. Thank you. Yeah, sure, sure, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. So on that note, guys, thank you so much for having me over. Look forward to doing more such sessions with the Institute and all the best. And uh, signing yeah, off. And uh, as, we, you, uh, as we have came to an end on behalf of our institute. I extend a very hearty vote of thanks to, our, uh, to you uh, as you spared time from your busy schedule and you have shared such a great thought with us uh, like importance of design thinking and uh, thinking and how it is human centered. Then you talked about uh, so many steps in design thinking and also what uh, does critical thinking actually means. And uh, one more thing, uh, whatever you, uh, reasons you told about critical thinking, that why do people do not uh, think critic, uh, do not think in a critical thinking way. So those are uh, absolutely true because I am the one of the person from all those person who do not think critical uh, way of critical thinking. But surely I will improve myself. And thank you for giving us opportunity to hear you. And this will surely be going to encourage us in uh, our future, obviously. And I would also like to thank our IT team for their constant support, our faculties for their guidance. And of course, you all attained this. Uh, thank you for joining. Have a great weekend. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, guys, and wish you all the best. Bye-bye. Have a good evening. Yes, uh, thank you so you. much, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and thank to the you. students, thank I have you, uh, shared one uh, feedback link. So you can uh, like uh, kindly submit your feedback on that Google form. So it would be helpful in uh, like further getting your uh, inputs and insights on the upcoming sessions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.